Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today we're gonna play St. Edgar's Eve, so here's the save right outside the start of the mission. You want a penny? I think I saw one in the gutter a ways back. <laughs> Now that no one's around, just walk up to this symbol and use it. St. Edgar's Church. This is where the Hammerite fanatics keep the chalice, a so-called holy relic. It's what the keepers are asking me to steal, if I want to see their prophecies for myself. The chalice might not be worth much on the street, but every Hammer Church has a nice pile of wealth stashed away. No reason not to fill my pockets while I'm here. This particular temple holds the crypt of some long-ago Hammerite hero, St. Edgar. Today was his holy day, so there's an all-night service. That might work in my favor if they're all sitting down praying, instead of looking for sinners to smite. Chances are they'll have anything they think is holy locked up pretty tight. I'll have to make sure they don't do the same to me. I'm not interested in the Hammerite brand of justice. <clears throat> so, as always, we will play on Expert. Let's look at the goals. We need to break into St. Edgar's Church, find and steal the Builder's Chalice. Once you have completed all your objectives, return to your entry point, the front courtyard. Pretty straightforward. After our full collection run in day one of the city, we're carrying 37.25 in cash, 8.75 in artwork loot, the velvet bag and a bunch of keys. Here's our map of the church, which we stole from the thug in front of it. We'll enter in the front courtyard. There's a front door to the ch church. There, over in the east, there's a courtyard where we can find the barracks and the high priest's chambers. To the west is another courtyard where there's a storage area and the factory and ultimately the reliquary. We've got... If you picked up everything so far, you'll have 8 healing potions, 11 flash bombs, 25 water arrows, 30 broadhead arrows, 2 gas arrows, 2 fire arrows, 6 moss arrows, 5 noisemaker arrows, of course your dagger and blackjack, mechanical eye and lockpicks. And I think that's it, so I'll see you inside. I have to say, for my part, I was thrilled that they brought the Hammerites back for Thief 3. The mechanists just annoyed me. And I've always had... I've always liked the Hammers. Oh, first things first. I like to make a real save right at the start. Here in the front courtyard... We'll head over to the left. This guy's got a key I want to pickpocket. And there's some other goodies over here as well. Builder, lead me against the dark towards the light. Fire of the forge, water of the chalice. There's a moss arrow the underneath the tree. And we can hopefully roll up on him and nab his key. You have to get very close to get people's keys. There we go. 
One interesting bit about this mission is that anytime patrolling hammers come up to a statue of St. Edgar, they'll say that little prayer. Watch, he'll do it again when he gets to the end of his route where that statue is. Builder, lead me against the dark towards the light. Fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. So when he turns around, there are two copper coins in that little bowl, so I'll grab those. 25 each. My total's 1%. And while he's away, mantle onto this crate, then onto the pipe, then onto the balcony, and then creep into the church. That completes our objective, break into St. Edgar's Church. So inside this room, there's some reading material. The condemned man spake upon the day of his execution to the brethren, I am innocent, do not cut off my head on this day. A wise brother tested the man, saying, If thou art innocent, thou canst set thy soul to rights by reciting the builder's holy prayer. Fearful, the condemned man spake, but I am too afraid to remember, I cannot. The wise brother replied, Fear never visits the innocent man. Even if thou art innocent of crime, thou art surely guilty of heresy. A righteous death shall cleanse thee of sin. So was the condemned man's head cleft from his body, and was innocence visited upon him that day. In this room, there's a copper candlestick on the table, worth another 25, brings my total to 2%. If you head up to the balcony of Above the front courtyard. This torch has a fire arrow sitting in it. With that done, I'm going to head up here first. I want to be careful not to trigger the conversation inside the main chapel. So there are a few little areas I have to avoid. He's got a purse that we need. I'm gonna grab that next. But there's nothing. There's a strange nothing. I knew he was gonna spot me. It would probably be wiser of me to wait in the doorway till he's walking away and then move up on him. The problem is, of course, that I can't very well run up to them because they'll green alert well before I get to them. So I have to have enough time to move up on them slowly in order to successfully pick their pockets. But I should be able to make it work. Nab it. Book it. Done. Where it is? Have I been robbed? See, people notice when they're pickpocketed in Thief 3, but I'm not counting those as busts of any sort. So that purse had 50 gold in it. It brought my total to 4%. Next, I need to... I can't go this way because it'll trigger the conversation I'm trying to avoid. So... We need to cross this patch of light, get into this little side chapel. Once inside here, just need to move over to this bench and grab this book. The Codex of the Admonitions, worth a hundred, brings my total to seven percent, and it's the first piece of special loot. I'll wait until I can clearly see, or well, wait until I have a clear shot past him, which will probably be when he leaves that spot and heads the other way again. Now I can move through here. This far away, we can cross the main chapel without triggering the conversation. I just want Master Forger Greedus and his guards to stay there 
until I have cleared Greedus' chambers. So, I can head up here. I can't, you see that candlestick up ahead of me. I can't quite get that yet, because if I cross that archway, the conversation will start. So, need to head this way. There's a stationary hammer on the balcony. He pivots back and forth. But I think I should be safe from getting spotted over here. I'm going to wait for him to pivot again just to be sure, though. So first, I'm going to loot the side chapel. All that's in here are these copper coins. Another 25, bring my total to 8%. And reading. And so did the son come unto his father, and saith he, Woe unto me, for hath I nothing to eat. Father, give me that which I need. And so didst his father give to him an iron chisel, and saith he, Go into the world, and build or grant thee the fruits of thy labor. The next day did the son come unto his father, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I can do naught with this chisel. Father, give me that which I need. And the father didst give him a hammer of fine wood and metal, and saith he, Go into the world, and build or grant thee the fruits of thy labor. And so did the son return, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I cannot eat these, I cannot use these to catch fish or gather crops. Father, give me that which I need. And the father didst cleave the begging hand from his son, and saith he, The builder hath granted thee the fruits of thy labor, which is naught. So with that done, I want to make my way down into the East Courtyard. Which is pretty easy to do with an opening right here. We just have to be careful to move down gradually and do our drops when the patrolling hammerite is far enough away not to hear us. So first, drop past the pipe onto the stone. Landing on the pipe makes a ridiculous amount of noise. Then. Drop to this awning, and drop to the ground. Easy enough. So to clear the courtyard, just stick to the shadows to avoid the patroller. First go over to the well where you can find a water arrow. Then if you head over to the other side of the courtyard, the bushes by that tree are hiding a moss arrow, which I'll grab next. Nothing to it. Next, we'll go ahead and tackle the high priest's chambers. And I'll also show you why we can't Supreme Ghost to this mission. I don't... I'm not sure if we'll be able to Supreme Ghost any of the missions because of things like this. But one of our pieces of special loot is inside the main barracks, which means we have to either take the door on the lower level right there, which is what we'll end up doing, or continue through the door inside the High Priest's quarters. Either one of those triggers a green alert when the door is opened, so we can't supreme the mission. Anyway, on top of the barrel, on top of these stairs, there's a ruby goblet, worth 100, brings my total to 12%. So now I'll head into the high priest's room, since he's not Let's here. Let's see what Greedus has been up to. So this door heads into the rest of the barracks, but there's a state next blow strike home. As you can see there here, there's a stationary guard right outside it who will alert when the door opens. On the table, first let's read the note. High Priest Greedus, praise be, thou and Brother Roland hath secured the chalice in the factory. I hath destroyed the stamped gear as instructed. Another canst be made in the stamping machine, but even a stamped gear is not without thy holy symbol to open the cage. Both must be used to activate the mechanism. Thus, while the symbol rests in thy chambers, surely our relics can be no safer. Brother Thorgrim. So, we've got a new objective. Two new objectives. 
We have to f acquire an unstamped gear in the factory, then stamp it using the stamping machine. We have to steal the high priest's holy symbol from his chambers. So, here's the holy symbol, right next to the note. And bam, just like that, steal the high priest's holy symbol from his chambers is checked off. On the table, there's a silver goblet, which brings worth 50, brings my total to 14%. Over here, we find a chest, which we can pick open by going right, left, left, right. Inside, we find a note. High Priest Greedus, thou hast served tirelessly these twenty years to impart thy wisdom to the world. Indeed, there has been no initiate to leave St. Edgar's without the mark of thine own particular brand of teaching, blazoned in the stripes upon their backs. In recognition thereof, this token, a jeweled cat of nine tails, carry it ever with thee, as needs thou must use it often. Brothers Imbril, Partus, Mendus, Raphael. So, let's grab the cat of nine tails. It's worth 350, brings my total to 26%. That's the second piece of special loot. On top of his bookcase, and I have to be careful not to accidentally hit the junk bottles of wine, there are two gold candlesticks, worth 75 each, bringing my total to 31%. And lastly, there's another note to read on his bed. Master Forger Greedus, twice in the span of this week hath I spied Brother Reginald pass by the statue of St. Edgar without pause to offer a prayer of thanksgiving, so that he may achieve penitence with toil in the builder's name. I have sent him to work a double shift at the factory. I trust this has thy blessing. I have also a matter of doctrine for thee. Knowst thou of the smaller effigy of St. Edgar that the Lady Warwick hath bestowed upon us? Does this artifact require also the recitation of the prayer? Will the value of the object compensate for the lack of size? I shall secure it near my bed in the bunk room till I hear back from thee. Roland. So, we are now done in the High Priest's chambers. So we're going to go ahead and go tackle the ground floor of the barracks. Well, not the ground, just the ground floor. The rest of the barracks. But it's actually easier to navigate if we head in this door. So get back down the stairs. Shouldn't be any real trouble there. I'm going to read this note right quick. All brethren must receive the blessing of High Priest Greedus before morning. When thou seekest thy blessing, summon Greedus with the chapel bell. Until thy own flesh is purified, speak not to Greedus with thine own tongue, but use instead the iron tongue of the bell, forged and purified in flame, to speak for thee. That gives us a new note, which is that if the High Priest hears the church bell, he will leave his room and go to the church to bestow a blessing. We'll wait for the patroller to get by. I'll go ahead and do another real save because we've made some good progress. So the patroller will swing off to the right. In the meantime, we can use this shadow to get right up next to the door without any comments from our stationary hammer friend. We should be able to get right up to the door and pick the lock without incident. Right, right, left, right, left. But opening the door will trigger a green alert. <laughs> can't really be avoided. There's more to read in here. Brothers, High Priest Greedus doth keep the holy symbol now in his chambers. The holy symbol of the Master Forger hath the imprint of the Builder's Grace direct from Blessed Saint Edgar. Tis the mark of leadership and hath many other uses. Pray for he who shoulders this burden, High Priest Greedus. So the two Hammerites here on the ground level are going to have a conversation, and then one of them has a key will want to pickpocket. Why they aren't having their conversation, I have no idea. Uh, 
I've never seen this before. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna get this key then. Yes? Hey! Hey! Uh, Maybe a quick load will make them decide to have their conversation, although I w do have to say that quick loading doesn't have the uh, superpowers that it had in Thief Gold and Thief 2 to fix glitches. Not always, anyway. And it certainly doesn't seem to here. Well, I'll go do everything else first. Oh, there they go. Strength be to thine arm. Hath thou heard? Master Forger Greedus hath called to all the Master Forgers of the Church that he shall drink from the Builder's Chalice. Tis madness! The Chalice hath been barred for these past fifty years since Master Forger Alibus didst drink and did burn unto death. Tis the Master Forger's wish to call upon all other Master Forgers to drink as well, that he may show himself both brave and righteous. His pride speaketh so, and not his righteousness. And tis dangerous to bring the chalice forth. Twas the means by which so many pagans died. They shouldst well like to destroy it if they hadst but the means. Ha! <laughs> Let the pagans come. And we shall strike them down as we didst in St. Edgar's time. <clears throat> so now they'll split. This guy will stay on the ground floor, the other will go patrol upstairs. That he's very easy to they're both very easy to get around. So let's just roll up on him and grab his key. Hey! Oops. Hold that Well, he seems to be having some trouble navigating this very complex piece of architecture known as a door. But Let's, uh, let's try that again. By the builder! Come to the thou! Aid. I have no idea why he can't seem to just turn right and go through the door. Let me, uh, let me watch him. And see if I can get a better handle on what the F is going on. In truth, good Hold lord. Down. So Garrett is continuing to not not grab the key, and this guy's just spinning around in a little circle in the doorway. This is weird. There. I guess that's what he's supposed to do. There we go, that's better. I guess he doesn't go through the doorway, I guess he stops and pivots. Anyway, we got his key, which is all we wanted. We'll follow the guy who headed upstairs now. First, the bookshelf to the right has a healing potion. Now we'll actually go up the stairs. Doesn't really matter whether you turn right or left first. I'm gonna choose to turn right just because. Wait until you. The top of the stairs is lit, so wait here till you see the patroller. Then take care not to bump into the barrel or anything else. Head to the right and move through these two grates. I'll wait for this guy to leave. And I like to follow him. First, I'm gonna grab this portrait off the wall. It's worth 150, brings my total to 36%. 
Now I'm gonna wait right here. How art thou, builder's blessing upon thee? Until he passes by back into that barracks room. And grab that healing potion that you can see in front of me. The light right past the potion is the other door into the high priest's chambers with its accompanying stationary guard. So just grab the potion, run right back to where you came. Now, wait for... Yep, wait for him to get out of the room, slip into it behind him. There's something to read. We didst take another pagan today. The wretch had no dignity. His screams didst summon forth a crowd of gawking onlookers as he was carried inside. But I didst note the flower peddler nearby that she showed not vacant curiosity, but a more intent concern. I shalt have her taken and put to the question in the next sweep. Mine thoughts turn again upon the prisoners. Tis proper they be put to work, but canst still be proper to work them past the point of honest effort, that they die of the labor and rise as the c accursed undead? Still, hadst they been faithful, twould never have come to such a pass. Dost thou do? No, no, there's no use. I can't find the coal. So we need to pick this chest open. Go out. Oh, I wanted the chest. Oh, 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 oh. It's up, right, left. Inside is an effigy of St. Edgar, worth 50, brings my total to 38%. It is the third item of special loot, which completes the objective, find at least three special loot items. Three found. So you have to stay crouched to be hidden here. I'm gonna wait for the guy to leave the room one last time. Then on your way out, don't miss the two silver coins on the desk. 50 each, they bring my total to 42%. Back through the grates. We want to head through that doorway that would have been left at the top of the stairs now. Kind of waiting until I get a bead on where the patroller is, but... Okay, he's coming through here. Once he make go with thee, brother. Once he makes it out, we'll head right into there. Over on the desk, there's another bit to read and a gas bomb. Gas bomb. The gas bomb explodes into a large cloud of knockout gas. Throw it to the ground to affect everyone in the nearby area. Brother Partis, I have gleaned what information I could about these volumes. Homilies of the Jeremites, Illustrated, Priory of the Forge, Glendower Volume, Missing in Caris's Upheavals, Glory of St. Edgar, Damaged but Legible, Codex of the Admonitions, a gold-bound and valuable text, stored in the prayer room on the west side of the church, top floor. That was close, but we're good. So over here, on top of the barrel, there's another gas bomb, as well as a gold pitcher worth 175, brings my total to 48%. And then, over on the other side of the top floor, right next to the statue, there's a ruby on the floor, worth 125, brings my total to 52%. We're now finished in the barracks, so, I'm gonna wait for a good opportunity and sneak Greetings, out. Greetings, brother. Slip out right behind that guy. And just head out the way I came. Which, w leaving the barracks, opening and closing the door, will trigger another green alert from the stationary hammerite outside. There's nothing to be done about that.
So here we are at the exit of the barracks. Let's head out. Perhaps my ears do trick me. So I didn't hear the sound, but that animation means his first alert has just settled. I'm gonna wait here until I can get in behind the patroller. I'm gonna head up to the top level and get that candlestick I stick get the candlestick I skipped earlier. That will trigger the conversation. So then I'll head downstairs move into the main chapel as Greedus and his escort are leaving. So just mantle onto the crate, onto the awning. Garrett's decided he wants to fly. I'm not into that. Then mantle onto the stone, onto the pipe, and up top. Once you're up here, you can slip into the side chapel again. Head out, grab the candlestick, and their conversation will start. Builder, grant me thy strength for mine arm. To smite thy enemy. Gold candlestick worth 75 brings my total to 55%. Now I want to head back down into the courtyard. Then head into the chapel. Of unworthy in thy righteousness. As thou hast directed, Master Forger Greedus, my brethren shall summon thee as they retire from their works. Tis well, but make sure tis done in a timely fashion. I'm gonna do a real save here with the barracks clear. For priests and shamans and keeper elders, if you pickpocket their wands, it serves to disarm them. I'm gonna do it just because I like to pick everyone's pocket and get my pickpocket count as high as I can. In missions, of course, not with the literally infinite procedurally generated ones in the city street. So I'm gonna wait for Greedus to leave and move in and grab his wand as he goes. Last month, several brethren sounded the bell far too late in the eve. If I spy any brother late at his work, shall I then tell him he needs must receive thy blessing and tarry no longer? So Greedus is going to leave. One of the guards follows him, and the other two patrols around the periphery of the chapel. We can grab the wand. And then... Dare to steal from me. There's the pickpocket comment. Again, I'm not counting those as busts, because otherwise I could never pick pockets, which would be Looney Tunes as far as I'm concerned. So once they're gone, I can just drop it. Now, a couple of things to do. I'm going to wait for him to pass me by here and then walk by the main altar. I'll move behind him to get those two pieces of loot off of the altar there, and I'll read the note there as well. So, diamond goblets, worth 150 each, bring my total to 65%. Brothers, High Priest Greedus doth keep the holy symbol now in his chamber. The holy symbol of the Master Forger hath the imprint of the Builder's Grace direct from Blessed Saint Edgar. Tis the mark of leadership and hath many other uses. Pray for he who shoulders this burden, High Priest Greedus. Well, that's the same as a note we read in the barracks. But There's more to read on the pulpit. The glory of Saint Edgar. 
"'Twas the dawning of the last day of battle, and St. Edgar didst see that his forces hadst but a few men left hale and unwounded. Then didst he kneel before the chalice, and didst give entreaty to the builder to gift him with death to his foes or his own death. If it be thy will that the foe fall, grant me thy strength to seek victory for thee. If it be thy will that the foe overcome, give me death by thy will now, for the foe shalt not have it." Then he supped from the chalice, and didst light and glory fill his limbs, and the foe fell as winter before the spring. And St. Edgar gave praise to the builder, and didst he walk amongst the wounded and captured enemy, and didst he give them sup from the chalice, and they were utter consumed utterly by the fire of the builder's forge, and the dead were beyond counting. That St. Edgar shalt be praised above praise, and gloried above glory, was his visage visage graven and sculpted in purest gold, that all who saw it shouldst also know the glory of that day and the value of his deeds. So, now that the people are gone, I'm gonna drop the wand on Greedus's patrol route, since that's more in line with the supreme rules. And then if you head to the very back of the chapel, behind the pulpit, you will find a gold bowl sitting on this bench, worth 125 brings my total to 70%. We're almost done now, we're ready to head into the factory. There's one last piece of loot. <clears throat> it's in the west courtyard, it's on one of the guys who's talking, and it's easiest to get during his conversation, so that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as we open this door, they'll start talking. Didst thou see? Inspector Drept was at service earlier. Another note. All brethren must receive the blessing of High Priest Greedus before morning. When thou seekest thy blessing, summon Greedus with the chapel bell. Until thy own flesh is purified, speak not to Greedus with thine own tongue, but use instead the iron tongue of the bell, forged and purified in flame, to speak for thee. Tis the holy day of St. Edgar. Don't surprise you would be a greater shame to stand missing. Now, can't I help? What? It can be a little bit tricky, but if you get exactly the right balance of hugging the wall to stay hidden and moving fast enough through the patch where you're still kind of lit up. Tis the holy day of St. Edgar. Doth it surprise you? It would be a greater shame to stand missing. Now speakest sense. By the odd Hello? noise. Okay, two ideas. Either I need to wall flat, stand up and wall flatten once I'm around the corner, or I need to move fast. Is the holy day of Saint Edgar? Let's go for speed Doth first. It surprise you? Twould be a greater shame to stand miss. Hey, what Hello? Okay, let's try wall flattening. And then if that doesn't work, I guess we can wait until their conversation is over. Tis the holy day of St. Edgar. Doth it surprise you? Twould be a greater shame to... Yes, twas some strange... 